Hello everyone, welcome back to Johnny's NASAC YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you Barracuda Firewall, how to do initial configuration, basic configuration for your home lab. I received this small box today and uh, kind of opened it. Uh, this is not an uh, open box video, so I will not show you everything inside, but I do want to point out the firewall is half you and it's sitting inside. It's a nice quick start guide inside of it. And at the bottom of the box, you do have console cable and uh, power supply, power cord, and also the USB with the software inside it. So this gonna be showing for my lab setup and also it's gonna basically use as my VPN configuration with cloud. So a bunch of videos gonna be planned based on this device. I recently purchased it. So I hope you will like it. And uh, for now, we will just let's start to do some basic configuration. Before we can start our initial configuration, we can start take a look the specification of the device and uh, the front panel, back panel, how it looks like. So this is back panel. All five ports are here. And the price is about uh, 800 US dollars. If it's only hardware, that will be 558 US dollars. The firewall throughput is 1.2 gig BPS. If you are using VPN, 220 with IPS and, uh, and next generation firewall configuration, the throughput can downgrade to the 250 meg BPS. But for the home user like me, to do the home lab, which is more than enough. You may also want to take a quick look, a quick star guide. You will find the paper from the box. So this is the online version. You can take a quick look about the setup. So we are using model F12. So you will have appliance, power cord, power supply, Ethernet cable and uh, USB thumb drive. Connecting power to it for the F12 configuration, that port one is our Barracuda management port. You can connect in your management PC to it. Port four is enabled for the DHCP WAN connection. You will also get the you will also get the firewall at the main software to do the configuration. If you're using F18, you can have web interface to the configuration. Default IP 200.200, .200, username, root, password, next generation firewall. Based on all those information, I drew a quick diagram to show the topology we're going to use. So we're going to config a management PC with 200 or 100 this IP address. Going to access in the management IP of firewall 200 200. And the port 4 going to connect into our router and go to the internet. It will automatically get the DHCP IP address. Based on this quick start guide, which you can find out from the shipped small box, and we're gonna connect port 1 for management PC, port 4 for internet DHCP. I have done this connection, so you should be able to find out uh, those and the photos from here. So both back end and front end, I have a photo to show the connection. Now we are gonna use firewall admin software. So web interface is not available for model F12, which what I have. 
so we're gonna use an application to do that this application you can find out from the usb flash drive so i already connected so you know applications there's a firewall next gen admin folder copy this one then you should be able to using it to log in by the way you may also want to check the pin the ip the connection so my ip is 192.168.200.100 so I already configured that. So I have a couple of friends, but the one interface I already configured as 192.168.200.100. As long as you can ping it, then you are good enough. So now we can put the IP in. Username is root, the password, you should be able to find out from a quick star guide. Copy it. We're gonna put it in. Sign in. So there's a certificate warning authentication check. Just say trust. So we're gonna do standard deployment mode. This wizard will help you to quickly Configure basic settings, administrate the password, time zone, and the management IP address. Let's do that. Time zone we need to change. I'm going to use New York. For DNS, I'm going to use in public DNS. Management IP, I will leave it for now. Uh, maybe later on I'm going to change it. But for now I will leave it. Later on we will do that. Change. Next. So we successfully updated the configuration, finish it. So we need to log in again with a new password. So now we are in the firewall. This is our dashboard. One thing I always would like to do is change the management port IP address. So right now we are using default IP 192.168.200.200 So we can easily get it changed Go to the configuration tab Network tab Management IP If it's in the lock mode, you won't be able to make changes Click lock Make it to be unlocked, then we can change the IP. So we are configuring P1 and I'm gonna give IP.2.247. Send changes. Activate the changes. We are still be able to pin 192.168.200.200 One more thing you need to do Go to the control Verify active network configuration And activate new network configuration Let's activate that Activate now Now we lost the configuration we won't be able to pin 200 to 100 so now it's time to switch the cable and get back 2.247 so 200 to 100 is not available now then let's try to pin new IP 247 which is able to connect at launch next gen firewall admin now we need to change the IP to the new one, 247, password, sign in. 
all all seems good that work two dot two four seven So this is basic video today. I'm gonna show you how to log into your Barracuda firewall, how to connect the cable, and how to make a management IP change. Thank you for watching, and hopefully you found something interesting. And give me a thumb up if you like it. 
If you haven't subscribed my channel, please do. See you in my next episode. Thank you.